Comments, comments, comments. Soccer story times. We want soccer story times. When are we gonna get soccer story times? We want them now. Well, your wish is my command. Oh, and by the way, for the first 15 minutes after a new video drops, I read and heart as many comments as I can. So make sure to subscribe and have notifications on for that. Self promo. Anyways, soccer or football, however you say it. It's still a game that we all know and love together, so let's just not fight in the comments. You're gonna have to sit down for these story times revolving around the sport. Cause throughout middle school, that was the only thing that me and my buddies would play. I went to school with mostly Hispanics, Guatemalans, Mexicans, and a lot of us would live and breathe off of this sport. However, I was not good whatsoever. Who's better, best Messi or Ronaldo? Let me know, guys. Who's better? Suey. Suey. Again, I was not good whatsoever. I would kick the ball one way, and it would just go the opposite direction. And I would also try my best to dribble the ball, but I would just end up megging myself. And that was peak embarrassment in middle school. If you got megged, everybody would freak out and not make you forget about it for a week. And and your crush better not see you get megged because that would be peak embarrassment because that happened to our buddy Chris during gym. And you can just see his face turning red from embarrassment. Anyways, is it just me or do kids not choose to tie their shoes during soccer? Because when we'd be playing and when somebody would kick the ball, 50% of the time their shoe would go flying as well. And the shoe would sometimes go farther than the ball. The goalie had to worry more about a sketcher going in the net than the actual ball. And my class was filled with so many tryhards. That's what my friends would call them because they were haters. But no, actually these tryhards would get annoying. They would come to gym class with actual cleats and shin guards. They would never pass the ball and do all these crazy spin moves just to miss the goal. However, these guys would kick the ball hard. Once we were playing and the tryhard had the ball. And when he kicked it, it curved towards me and hit me right in the stomach. Oof! I couldn't breathe for 15 seconds. Oh my god, what happened? I thought I was dying. But nope, that was the first time I ever had the wind knocked out of me. We also loved playing soccer after school with my buddies and our friend group. And in sixth grade, my friend group was pretty big. It was like 10 of us and we would always sit in the same cafeteria table. And we would also play soccer after school. And we actually noticed something ironic. Our group was split up evenly. Five Mexicans and five Guatemalans. And is it really middle school if y'all never divided your friend group? Because ladies and gentlemen, that builds character. Dude, we should host a tournament. Guatemala versus Mexico. Again, I can't believe we divided ourselves like that. <laughs> but who? I was ready to play these games. So that summer, we had a freaking tournament. And I was committed to my Guatemalan team. We even made some bootleg jerseys with some fabric paint. And look at this picture of us. This was me eight years ago. I actually felt really nostalgic looking at these pics. This is me, and we got my uncle as the head coach. And we also threw in my sister there as well. And although this was the Guatemalan team, we invited my buddy Caesar to play, and he was Dominican. We made him play goalie. But he has some water in his blood, though. We played our first game the first week of July. And oh my god, guys, it was hot. It was actually brutal. I was sweating and running around. And if you know anything about Guatemalans and soccer, stereotypically, we're not that good. We've never qualified for a World Cup. But hey, I still love the national team deep down in my heart. However, we may have fallen into that stereotype because we lost 1-6. to six. It was bad. We may have been out heighted as well. Hey, we were 310 Guatemalans. Meanwhile, two kids on the other team have already gone through puberty. Next game was when we got my uncle to coach and he trained me like a madman. And the thing that I love about older Hispanics, they were right on the first thing that they can get their hands on. My guy was writing out the game plan on a freaking pizza box before the match. And we actually improved three to four. And we would have won if it weren't for a last minute goal that looked easy to block. Juan, who was on the Mexican team, kicked a really easy shot towards the goal. And it was gonna be blocked by Caesar, who was our goalie. But it rolled right in between his legs. Oh! We were so bad because he was magged. Um, let's not talk about it. Now we were seeking revenge and I was slowly turning into the general manager of this team. You know, I was trying to recruit more kids to play with us. We needed bigger people, man. And that's when I got my cousin Luis to play with us. Homie was 15 years old, meanwhile, everybody else was 12. But hey, he's Guatemalan. And two guys on the Mexican team couldn't make it that day. So our team was a little overpowered. And the score says it all because we actually won 16 to 0. Yeah, that was probably one of the best days of my life. Oh, and I also scored a beauty. But we were arguing whether it counted or not. Dude, that doesn't count. It went over the cooler. What do you mean? No, it didn't. Yeah, I forgot to mention that our goals for these games were coolers, bags, cones, whatever we can get our hands on. But regardless, we won that game. I think I lost a couple of buddies too that summer. So guys, what I've learned, don't divide your friend group. Or if you do, make sure it's for fun and games. Speaking of dividing, Cisco. Garbage, bro. bro. Look at his shirt. It's freaking inside out. Give me that. Yeah. Yeah. He's not that good. Yeah.
Come here. <laughs> ah! cling. cling 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 yes sir this is just a little taste of soccer story times let me know if y'all want some more and don't forget to follow the instagram the twitch everything will be linked in description